Good day, ladies and gentlemen. PDAC 2016, it's the third day and we are now not down on the floor. We are here at the Max Silver presentation. It was a great lunch presentation of George Paspalas, who is the CEO of the company, standing here beside me, and also Dr. Peter McGough, who presented here the geological items of Mac. And uh, yeah, we want to talk, of course, uh, about some numbers, as George is the CEO, as I mentioned, and the company raised successfully against $75 million. George, welcome and congratulations on that. Thank you, Johan. <laughs> uh, it's a very important raise for Mag Silver. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. I mean, 65, you intended, 10 million was the green shoe. You obviously raised all the 75. That's right. So the interest is great. Um, why now? Well, it was important that we get fully funded on the Wano Scipio project. Mm -hmm. uh, the joint venture is heading down this year of you know, finalising engineering studies and then making a decision to go and build the plant mm -hmm. at right, the last stage of the process. Uh, the operator, Fresnel, is doing a wonderful job putting the ramp down to the ore body, um, you know, going very well, you know, exceeding design rates, very uh, efficient mining. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great operators. Uh, but we're going to make a decision together to build a plant, and we want to make sure that we're fully funded for that decision time exactly. so we can c contribute our 44% mm -hmm. and not have to scurry around, uh, perhaps when the market's not receptive, or perhaps mm -hmm. even more importantly, our results from our deep drilling come out and it impacts our technical report mm -hmm. and we can't because we have to update our technical report. Yeah. Uh, so we thought let's get the funding done, puts MAG in a very strong position. Yeah, we're riding, you are now, definitely. riding yeah. high on the horse yeah. right, uh, <laughs> as we head like down it. the road and uh, it, it's yeah. remarkable because you know um, as you said it was well subscribed mm -hmm. but even within that the the people who bought in this offering, mm -hmm. um, good institutions, mm -hmm. fundamental investors in precious metal mining, there wasn't hot money, mm -hmm. even hedge funds. Mm -hmm. right? These are pure investment, um, mm -hmm. pure uh, mining and, and precious metal investment. Yeah. And I mean, you have uh, anyway, 80% of your investors are institutions, and the big ones like the Fund X, Correct. the Sprots, etc. Yes. And I mean, long term stable ones, right? That's right. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, a lot of those existing shareholders have topped up their, their mm -hmm. share. That's they, important. They, so they participate. Confidence. Yeah. yeah. And some of the big names institutionally mm -hmm. in the space who aren't on our share register mm -hmm. are now. Oh. Because they realised, mm -hmm. MAG's going for $75 million. Yeah. That means they're going for full funding of the project. Yeah. This is our last chance to get in. Yeah, exactly. And so what that means now is, you know, there, there's no financial overhang on the stock. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want to buy Mag Silver shares now, mm -hmm. for the next foreseeable future, you have to buy them on the market. Yeah, which we like to hear shareholders. <laughs> the shares can only go up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, we're well positioned now. Yeah. We have a great asset yeah. and great upside potential with the deep drilling that we're doing. And Absolutely. I know you're talking to Peter with the core, mm -hmm. and you just look at that yeah, core. I've done it yesterday. Oh, I'm not phenomenal. a geologist, yeah, but me I can too, tell but you, that's I, right. even I saw it. <laughs> yeah, you want to put it around your neck, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's fantastic yeah. future for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think also it's important, as I have seen your fantastic presentation just an hour ago. Um, what came up to my mind because I saw you have uh, 121 million dollars still left they need to be invested and I saw also the numbers were from 2012 Correct. from the technical study Correct. and the, the, PEA. The, the, the PEA exactly um, was there any significant change by now meaning is this a good cushion to sleep, the one for the seven? Right. Are you uh, well positioned for, let's put it that way, funny surprises? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, there's a couple of elements to that question. Thanks, mm -hmm. that's a great question. <laughs> um, first of all, we have like a $20 million buffer mm -hmm. to the 2012 capital number. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty safe, mm -hmm. particularly when you have Fresneo as the operator. Mm -hmm. and the mine builder. Mm -hmm. right? Fresneo have built three similar mines mm -hmm. in the last eight years, every one of them under budget. Mm -hmm. right? in, and they actually have just completed at the end of 2014 a, a process plant on the same vein, mm -hmm. two kilometres away from where we're going to build the one for the joint venture. Mm -hmm. That was $280 million, they built it for 235. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we, we have a cushion, mm -hmm. we then have the ability of Fresnio as the operator which will enhance that cushion, mm -hmm. and then we also have a number that was cast in 2012, 
In 2012, the price of iron ore was $150 a tonne. It's 50 now. Mm -hmm. you know, the Mexican peso was 12 and a half to 1. Mm -hmm. We're in Mexico. We're using Mexican contractors, mm -hmm. Mexican supplies. Mm -hmm. The exchange rate now is 17 to 18 to 1. Oops. So we, Slightly yeah, right? different. It's significant. So I think, <laughs> I think we have a cushion. Yeah. Uh, we're not complacent, so yeah. we're not spending our money anywhere else. Definitely it's not. It's earmarked for yeah. this asset, because mm -hmm. once this gets into, ca into uh, production, the mm -hmm. cash flow is immense for exactly. a company like MAG. Yeah, right? exactly. And that, that's exactly the point. This is easily enough money before the cash flow Correct. is kicking in. Correct. So you are safe. That was the last financing. Yes. That's it. That's done. Yep. And now you, yeah, you are not starting. You are building the mine, yep. you are, I think you are 2,200 uh, meters already so with 2, the 2,500. Yeah, 500 yeah. already, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And so this is perfect. Yes. Yeah. And uh, from that side, I think also from the perspective of an investor, they can sleep also quite well now. Well, I think they can. Yeah. You've got a fully funded development company yeah. developing the highest grade undeveloped silver mine in the world. And you mm -hmm. can look in the corporate presentation to see that grade yeah. compared to everybody else. Yeah being built by probably the best people in the world to build it, who have built a similar mine on the same vein mm. two years they ago. They should know it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they know it. <laughs> they know it. So Definitely. We're well yeah. positioned and our challenge yeah. is to just be disciplined, mm -hmm. continue to extract value mm -hmm. from that property, Yeah. and uh, all the money we've raised is earmarked for that asset. And once we get the cash flow, mm -hmm. our doors open. Right? Exactly. We can start to build the company out. Yeah. But right now we're focused on bringing the one CPO joint venture to mm -hmm. cash flow. Super. I love that. Great right. final sentence. George, thank you very much for the short update. Pleasure. Great to and, see you. And uh, I think we do uh, another one probably in April or whenever. Sure. Anytime. And, uh, yeah. I'd love to. Okay, thank thanks you very a lot. much. Thanks. Great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was George Paspalas, the CEO of Max Silver. Yeah. You heard it. The company is financed. They, they are through. And uh, yeah, the cash flow can kick in. The company has a good cushion to sleep on. $147 million are in the bank. Time to have a look at Max Silver. Thanks and bye-bye from Toronto.